Hey, what's up everybody, Shinmoki here, and I just wanted to make a quick video about Project Cars 3. I actually wanted to make a video on the game around a week after it came out, but it received so much press so quickly that I felt like I'd just be pouring water into the ocean by talking about it. But now that some time has passed, I figured I'd give it a look-see as it's been burning a hole in my Steam library for quite some time now. So, for a bit of context, I was actually one of the lucky few to get into the original Project Cars and its alpha and beta releases, as well as discuss the game's development on their forums. I'm not saying I was an integral part of the Slightly Mad Studios machine or anything, but I am pretty proud to say I was around for most of its development. This may shock you to hear me to say then, that I'm not particularly angered or disappointed by Project Cars 3. Now don't get me wrong, you should not buy this game. It's a $15 game at best, and only something you'd buy if you were bored with a plethora of sim and sim arcade racers out there. However, that being said, I can't be particularly displeased with the direction they went in, and I understand why they did it in the end. Project Cars as a series was overshadowed non-stop, both by other sims and the more casual sim arcades. And while I like Project Cars, and especially Project Cars 2, there was simply no denying that the only reason you'd ever play them is because you were bored and wanted to try a new sim out. At the end of the day, Project Cars couldn't trump other sims in terms of pure physics as well as both dev and community support, nor could they come close to the presentation and sheer amount of content in games like Forza Motorsport and Gran Turismo. I supported Project Cars' development and bought Project Cars 2 in the hopes for something new and exciting, when, in all honesty, I was just let down when I put those games next to their respective sims of the day. For those unaware, Project Cars 3 features a whole new UI layout that many have rightly pointed out is looking rather, uh, mobile gamey. It also features a significantly simplified handling model that feels pretty close to Forza Motorsport and is clearly designed for controllers, although playing with a wheel didn't feel particularly bad, it was just a bit of a workout. It's also got punchy, annoying electronic music a la Forza Horizon, and it just in general feels catered towards a very young, casual racing audience. And therein lies the problem for most people. It's the exact opposite of the first two Project Car games. Instead of trying to improve on an already decent formula so that it could finally compete with other sim racers, Project Cars 3 went in the complete opposite direction towards the mass appeal market. So why does this not upset me? Well, apart from the frankly stellar car and track list for a game its size, I've just become comfortable with the fact that, while Slightly Mad Studios tried their best, Project Cars just was never meant to be a top dog racing series, and in a world of Forzas and Assetto Courses, that's a recipe for financial failure. This part is just headcanon, but it's my belief that when they realized Project Cars 3 simply wasn't going to turn the series into what it needed to be in order to trade blows with the big boys, they began turning it into a more casual oriented to sell some extra copies of the game, and now they'll probably start moving away from the series. It is quite sad. There was so much hype for the first game, which, all things considered, was a really admirable effort. And the second showed a lot of promise, but sometimes showing promise just won't cut it. And of course, Codemasters' acquisition of the game's developers certainly helped skew them into a more arcadey direction. I think the main reason for my mostly indifferent feelings on the matter is that I could feel this coming for some time, pretty much right after Project Cars 2 launched. It still had so many quote-unquote small dev problems, like awful sound design, some bad visual and audio bugs, crazy long load times, and of course a handling model that was respectable but far from the level of R Factor 2 in Assetto Corsa. And when a game like Automobilista comes around with its function over form design, incredible handling model, and amazing support from its developers, you can't help but feel like Slightly Mad Studios were being completely shown up by it. At the end of the day, Project Cars 3 should have just been cancelled instead, and perhaps that's what they would have done had Slightly Mad Studios not been acquired by Codemasters. But instead, they finished what they started, gave it a bit more mass appeal, and released it. And to their credit, the game does feature far superior loading times, performance, and visual and audio clarity bumps over its predecessors, so we do have to give credit where it's due on that front, even if we may not want to. I can really only be angry at the misleading marketing for the game. That much I think we can all agree was shady, shitty, and senseless. Well, what's Project Cars 3 like anyways? Like I mentioned, it's essentially a low-fat version of Forza Motorsport. A fun but not at all nuanced handling model, a solid track list, and a frankly great car list with decent audio and visuals, it's a fine little racing game. It's just not a Project Cars game, and let's be honest, it wouldn't move a single copy without the Project Cars name on it. Oh hey, just like Grid 2019, which was also made by Codemasters. Yeah. Honestly, I wish I had more to say about this game, but that's kinda it. 
A pointless video for a pointless game. At the end of the day, the series is almost no doubt going under after this, and it's sad to see, but at least I can understand why they did it, and got a few hours of fun out of it too, for what it's worth. Again, I don't recommend you get this game, but if your curiosity gets the better of you, and you can get it for pennies, I won't stop you. And you almost certainly will be able to by the end of this year. So, what do you guys think of Project Cars 3? Did I take it too easy on it, or do you think it has more merit than I gave it credit for? Let me know in the comments, and thanks for watching.